Hello and welcome to QuickSight.com's tutorial series. In this tutorial we're going to go over how to make some basic global configuration changes to your site. As always, simply type administrator after the last forward slash to the path of where your application is sitting on your server. This will pop up your login box. Type in your username and password. And to get to your global configurations, you'll simply mouse over the site link. This is the fourth one down, global configuration. And we'll just go over some of the important parts here. Um, the first area here, you could actually take your site offline with the click of a button and display a message that you choose, and you'd put that in this box. The site name would go here. Your default, what you see is what you get editor, is actually you have a choice whether you want there to be an editor or not. Um, to help you when you create your articles or your web pages. I have mine set for no editor and in later tutorials we'll go over why you may do that. And moving down you've got your metadata settings. This is important for the optimization of your entire site. Now when we get into making web pages each article will give you an area to optimize the description and the keywords of that specific page to help with better search engine optimization. But these metadata settings here are specific to the site in general. Moving over to the system sublink here, um, two areas of interest in this on this screen: the user settings um, allow user registration, yes or no. Depending on your business model and what you may need, um, I would encourage you to have this at yes if you want to have maybe a newsletter or any type of user management. Um, new user registration type. Um, I would pretty much recommend you leave that at registered unless you have other needs that would require these higher levels. And new user account activation. This is set to yes by default. What this does is it forces your newly signed up users to verify their email because there will be a confirmation link sent to them. And um, this really helps to cut down on spam and auto signups. And moving down, the only other two fields that you might have interest in is path to media folder and path to image folder, which come into play when we deal with our media manager, which is later on. Um, but otherwise, you may just want to leave those as their defaults because they'll work just fine. And you can also set how long your session is or how long it will take until users or yourself are going to be timed out of this back-end area. And finally, in your last sub-link here, uh, your mail settings are probably two things you'll want to pay attention to. Just make sure the mail from is going to be an email that you are using and is active, and the from name is also what you want to have shown there. And assuming you made the necessary changes that you want, um, you've got two options pretty much on everything that you make in your website, and you have save and apply. Um, both do the exact same thing in that either button will save the changes that you made. The only difference is when I click apply it lets me know the page and the details have been updated and you notice it leaves me on this same page. If I click save it kicks me out to the main menu. So this is usually a good starting point is to go into your site and your global configuration and uh, make the basic changes to your site name and metadata settings that you would need to um, accurately reflect and represent the content of your site. Thanks for listening and that concludes this tutorial.